What's up, guys? Welcome to the first episode of Pugs Just Want to Have Fun on Revival. So, if you're unfamiliar uh, with uh, it, uh, what, uh, what? what? Pugs Just Want to Have Fun revamped. Duh. I, I'm not. I'm not including that. That's not. That's. That's all you. You're not gonna edit that out. No, I'm not. No, I'm still recording. That's. This is the intro. What's up, guys? Yeah. So. Uh, if you're wondering what Revival is, <laughs> this is John's new server. Uh, it's not out yet. We are the only people online. We are the only people that can play. So, Which is a love. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're just basically going to get ahead, get a nice old head start on everybody. <laughs> and then when you guys join yeah. the server, we're going to be running around with blowpipes. And we're going to yeah, turn PvP soft. worlds on, and we're just going to kill everybody. Uh, so... Basic rules of the series, uh, there are none. The whole fun, the whole point of our ICOV series was to just have fun, so that's what we're doing on here. He's going to be doing his own thing, I'm going to be doing my own thing, but obviously we're, we're two pugs. So we'll probably join forces at some point, another boss or whatever. <laughs> uh, we have a default account, nothing fancy, no Iron Man. We do have uh, Luck of the Pugs, which is a uh, high tier Ring of Wealth ring. It is currently unavailable in game, there's no way to get it, so we're kind of kind of uh, hooking ourselves up there but basically it is four times better than a ring of wealth and then it also does have stats later on once if invention comes out uh you'll be able to attain it but if that doesn't happen uh, we'll probably just throw it on a, a boss monster so eventually you guys will be able to get them but for now uh he and i are rocking them so just pointing that out because that should help the loots should be able to get some nice uh dank loots and he's over here cheating already i wasn't even online and actually what is Oh, oh no, dude, did, yeah. I'm, I'm already. That's funny. I did. I did. I just hit. I just hit level fifty-one. But uh, yeah, there's the intro. Dude, we'll, I'm uh, gonna probably resume with our own stuff. Oh, All right. So now I'll, I'll, I guess I'll tell you what I'm gonna be doing. So this is the Pugs just want to have fun, and uh, the original series we did on Icov. The goal was just have fun, um, but we did have like goals within the series. Like on that one, I believe we were going for Comp Cape. That was one of the goals. So on here, that's kind of what I'm doing again. I'm going for comp cape. There is no actual comp cape or no comp cape requirements. I'm going to be making my own, and uh, if you want a full list of those, will be in the description below. Uh, but they're all relatively simple. Things like max cape, all the achievements, every single pet. Yeah, every single pet. I'm going hard. Um, that's probably going to be the one that requires the most amount of effort. Uh, so if you played uh, Dark Asylum, you'll remember that the, uh, the rates on scaling pets are pretty common. You'd get them all the time. That's been changed. A lot of things have been changed. So if you, when, whenever you play the server, if you do play the server, uh, don't think of it in terms of Dark Asylum because there's a lot of things we've changed. Even things you wouldn't think we would should change, we've changed. And then there's some things we kept because we liked them. Uh, for example, the jars. I believe John liked the jar idea, so we kept the jar idea. Um, and then the Zoandra totem, he really liked that idea, so we kept that. And then off the top of my head, those are the two things we kept. A couple, um, you know, interfaces and whatnot. We, we didn't change too much because they were uh, pretty straightforward. But we put a, a bit of effort into it, and uh, we're kind of ready now to, to get things going. Um, so by the time you're watching this episode, this the release of the server should be soon. I don't exactly know when, but soon. So, yeah, I'm going to be going for Max Cape, um, Comp Cape, like Comp Requirements. Um, I know Old School is talking about adding a Comp Cape. But from what I've heard, that's not going to be for a little while. But whenever they actually add the comp cape, we'll probably work on actually coding requirements and whatnot. But uh, working on these now, so uh, that, that'll, that'll be done. Um, I don't have anything to show you just yet. Just fishing right now. You can see there's cash. This is from fishing. If you actually do fish, leave an inventory space because you'll get coins. And it adds up over time. You also can get a mystery box, but I've made the rarity a little higher, so... It's not likely to happen, but... Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I didn't really get the opportunity to play the, the Dark Asylum server a whole lot. There's way too many other problems for me to focus on, but this time around, since I'm just coding and I don't own the server, I, uh, I'm definitely going to have the time to play it, and I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a ton of fun. Alright, so this is one of the good things about playing the server yourself. You really get to the see, uh, see things firsthand. You really get a feel for the problems. And the uh, the problems that you know normal players go through. So, I am uh, working on my Dragon Defender. And first things first, it seems like you drain your tokens way too quickly. These things seem to hit too hard. I don't even know what their health is. It seems like their health is higher than it should be. They seem to have decent defense. Because like, I mean, you look at my stats, 90. I should be able to kill these no problems. 
and I've killed seven. I think I had like, I don't, I think I had like 200, I think I had like 170, because it takes 100 away when you first enter, which I'm actually going to look into right now, and then it drains uh, 60, so yeah, yeah, so I had 170, I can just use that, and uh, but uh, I've killed eight and <laughs> 60 tokens used, and I feel like at this combo level, that's just not good, so I'm going to look into this file right now and make some changes, probably going to decrease the time it takes uh, before it drains them, and then I'm gonna check out the stats because they seem like they're hitting awfully hard. So I'll definitely look at that. But just another good example of uh, how you know playing the actual server helps. We can figure out firsthand because like if this if somebody reports this to me, I have to like you know if if for one if one person reports to me, it's it's one of those things where this right here wouldn't be high on any priorities. So it would take me a little bit to even look at it, and then I actually have to like go through and figure out what the hell people are talking about. So it just slows down the process. But here, playing it myself, I have a first-hand look. I know everything that's right and everything that's wrong with this. So, yeah, but uh, just a little update going on my, uh, going for a, a Dragon Defender. I don't know what all to record and what all not to record. Um, I feel like some things are just kind of dumb and then some things aren't. I know John records everything, so I might just kind of, like, copy John. I feel like he always does well, so I'll just do what he does. <laughs> but um, there's an update on the stats. I did do a little bit of AFK fishing while I was working on things. You can see the stats are up. Uh, worked on some of these achievements. Um, show you the trivia points. Uh, that's one of the advantages to being the only person online. Although I think John's AFK, so he's, he's technically online. But 18 trivia points. That's not bad right there. Um, and, but you can see, like, look, they're like hitting so hard. I have 70 defense. Granted, I don't have like the best gear in the world, but come on, they're they're hitting way too hard. So gonna make some changes to this, gonna mess around with it. And uh, yeah, this is just another example of uh, how playing the server ourselves is actually gonna help out a lot. Ooh, let me snag that for him. Got him. What? Oh. <laughs> I should've, I should've just, should've just stopped recording. Nice, so I just got a uh, Dragon Defender. So I'm done here. If you're wondering uh, how long it took, uh, I, I just went away, but if you saw it, there was 97 kills. I think that's accurate. Because it re it doesn't it resets your ta um your tokens used but it doesn't reset your kills so uh, in fact let me see if I go in there if it's still there yeah 97 all right cool I did make it a little easier I just made it so it doesn't remove the hundred anymore and then I um, lower their defense I kept the same rates if you're wondering what the rates are it's one in ten that you'll get a defender um, I didn't uh, I don't really know exactly why but sometimes it would glitch up and I noticed that if you keep your defender from before. Um, that generally uh, works best. Although I did randomly get another one. I, I don't really know. But now that it doesn't take 100 points, I guess you can always just leave to re-enter. Alright, so we just received a 99 strength. And um, one thing we added was if you get a 99, you get a mystery box as well as a reward. So... Torx Ambers. A reap? Oh, a crystal key though. I'll take that. All as well. Alright, so we just got 99 attack, as you can see right there. Lagging something fierce, but uh, yeah, we got mystery box as well. I'm going to open that in a second. Alright, and so the reason why I decided not to open that just yet is because... Uh, trivia points. Uh, yeah, it's kind of cheap, considering I'm the only one online. Um, sometimes John is online, and he snags them, but... Yeah, it's a little OP, but I don't care. Haha. <laughs> Uh, if you're wondering how I got these credits, you actually get credits from mystery boxes now. Uh, it's one of the changes I've, we, we've made. Uh, if you open up a mystery box, you get 25 credits. So if you see why I have credits, that's why. And uh, with donator status, if you're wondering, we're not going to cheat for it. At least I'm not going to cheat for it. I'm just going to get it the normal way. Just to kind of prove how easy it is to get donator status. Um, granted, I am kind of cheating because there's no one else to compete with the uh, <laughs> for the uh, trivias, but still. Uh, so let's see what we can get here. I'm um, not sure what I really want. I mean, you can, obviously you can get like super rare stuff, but I'm not really expecting anything like that. Rune package, that's nice. It saves me a little bit of money. And a medium clue scroll casket. Cool. I kind of want to save this for a master. Although, I don't think there's a single master I can even do, so I'm just going to open it. <laughs> I think I need major spaces. Yeah, I, I, I really want to do Masters because I've seen the loot, you know, I've coded the loot, but I don't think that I can even do any of them. Ah, uh, looking straight, not bad. So, you know, obviously the only thing worthwhile is this Rainer Boots. 